Let's encrypt a file using OpenSSL and let's look at the entropy between the file before it was encrypted and the file following the encryption. All right, so let's start. Let's start by typing, I have a secret, I have a secret, and let's um, create a text file, secrets.txt, and if we use the ls, we can see that we have the secrets.txt. Now let's check the entropy of that file. Um, the less the entropy, the, um, the less randomness in the file. So uh, you will see that encrypted files have much more entropy than plain text. All right, so let's just cut. I'm not sure that I have the uh, entropy already installed. Let's just check it out. So secrets.txt and let's use the entropy. And no, we need to install the entropy. So let's install entropy. It will take a second. All right, now let's use the same command. And we can see that the file, the text file, has an entropy of 3.2 bits. So let's just now use the OpenSSL to encrypt that file. Let's use a ES128 bit key with code block chaining. And let's use the in as our secrets.txt and the out we will use secrets.txt um, dot encrypted all right and let's use a password for our encryption and let's now look again uh, for the encrypted file, so let's just cut secrets dot txt dot encrypted, and let's pipe it again using the entropy command, and we can see that we have much more entropy. That is five point two bits in the encrypted file.